Well, good evening, and welcome to the University of Kentucky College of Medicine's 50th anniversary signature event. We have a special evening planned for you. Tonight we gather to celebrate the richness of our past, the excitement of our present, and the promise of our future. For the last half century, the college has been on an extraordinary journey to educate future physicians and scientists to conduct breakthrough biomedical research and to provide superior patient care, all within the mission of caring for Kentucky. All of us are gathered here this evening to play a role in that journey that really began some 50 years ago. Let's go back to the year 1960. John F. Kennedy was elected president. The Cold War was on all of our minds. And in Louisville, a young boxer named Cassius Clay, now Muhammad Ali, won his first professional fight. With cultural, social, and political changes culminating around the world, something just as special and just as exciting happened right here in Lexington, Kentucky. After years of efforts on the parts of Governor Chandler and many other dedicated supporters, a medical center and a new College of Medicine were established at the University of Kentucky. At the time, it was established to address the severe shortage of physicians in the Commonwealth. Situated on what was then the university's agricultural experimental station farm, the first dean, Dr. William Willard, once stated that he was, quote, the only medical school dean in the United States to preside over a cornfield. <laughs> in September 1960, after receiving more than 400 applications, the UK College of Medicine submitted its first class admitted its first class of 40 students. Tuition for Kentucky residents was $500 a year. <laughs> $950 for out-of-state students. Some things have changed. By 1964, when I started medical school, tuition had soared all the way up to $1,200 per year. Some things never change. And in a true sign of the times, each student was given a key to the medical center building. So the momentum of the college was now unstoppable. Since that first fateful year with the support of the medical center leaders like Peter Bosomworth and Jim Holsinger and Mark Karp, the, the accomplishments of our students and, and alumni and faculty and staff have been extraordinary research to maintain and restore people to healthy lives, innovations in medical education, community outreach, and our commitments to provide patient care to all Kentuckians, especially those in rural areas, have all been set into place. Ladies and gentlemen, in homage to our past, I introduce you to those who set the precedent for all future classes. I present to you members of the first graduating class of the University of Kentucky College of Medicine, the class of 1964. Well, it's not quite all of the class of 1963. <laughs> well, as we all know, time is fleeting. <laughs> what was once our present becomes our past, and what was once our future is now our present. 
Today, the UK College of Medicine stands upon the shoulders of its past. Our roots have laid a firm foundation for the successes that are currently taking place. The next step of the College of Medicine's journey is here and now. As is obvious while driving down South Limestone, we are no longer situated in a cornfield. The original medical center still stands, but is undergoing a transformation unlike anything that has occurred in the past 50 years. Now is the time for the College of Medicine's successes and triumphs to accelerate. Today, more than 2,000 applicants from around the world apply for the 113 coveted spots in each class. We currently have more than 450 medical students, 200 graduate students, and 530 residents specializing in one discipline or another. With more than 4,000 faculty and staff, it is an understatement to say that we have grown significantly over the past half century. Beyond the quantities, there's quality. This year, UK ranked among the top 20 medical schools in the United States based upon its social mission, representing the percentage of graduates who practice primary care, who work in underserved areas, and who are underrepresented minorities. The College of Medicine faculty has had impressive gains in extramural research funding, and extramural research funding is a measure of excellence in research. Grants and contracts in the College of Medicine this year exceeded $134 million. In July, the UK Healthcare unveiled the first phase of its expansion of the Albert B. Chandler Hospital. This year was the first year that a select group of third-year medical students in the college's rural physician leadership program are studying in Moorhead under the supervision of both College of Medicine and community-based faculty. Furthering our commitment to the Commonwealth, the plans for another rural physician leadership program in the purchase area in Murray, Kentucky are underway. As the state's flagship medical school, our largest and most important concern is centered around our medical students, Kentucky's future physicians. These bright young people never cease to amaze me. As I told a group this morning, I'm not sure I'm smart enough to be a student today. I'm smart enough to be the dean. I'm just not smart enough to be a student. In a time when the cost of a medical education is soaring and the future of, of health care delivery is in question, they are putting the health care of Kentuckians and those in the world above the, their own wants and their own needs. I ask you to welcome the current medical student leaders of the UK College of Medicine. These current students are tomorrow's physicians. The UK College of Medicine's journey will never come to close. They like medical school so much 